question from lunch time july lunch time division 3 and the question is as follows chef has a string a who which which has an even length and you can do the following operation any number of times swap ai with ai plus 2 and you have to convert that string to a palindromic string and you just have to tell that if you can convert it to a palindrome by doing this operation any number of times so that is the question and now let's take the input first t test cases n is the length of the string and single line of each test can contain the string okay so let's take the string as input now now since the length of the string is even so the palindrome won't be like a b a so the palindrome would be something like a b b a only right and what i concluded from this operation uh, what we can actually do is basically we can kind of like rearrange rearrange the letters that are two distance away from each other so basically if the string is let's say a b c d e f because it's even then we can basically arrange the string a c and f in any order and the other string that is basically b and d in any order right we can basically do that so it's like all of the even places these are the even places and these are the odd places we can rearrange them so they they can be thought of as individual strings and we can rearrange their order yeah so by so what it means is we can sort the even indexes separately and odd indexes separately in any order we want right so if we can do that then we just have to make sure that the number of occurrences of let's say letter b in odd indexes should be same as should be equal to the number of occurrences of b in even indexes because if that is true then we can always find a configuration in which uh, we can like we can rearrange the character so that it actually becomes a palindrome so let me show you so let's say if in the and this should hold for every character so if in our this string we have b c and let's say uh, wait a second this was supposed to contain f and this was supposed to contain a right so if b c e and uh, let's say b e and c is the string for this case right and this should be here so this is kind of the string so in this case the number of occurrences of each character is the same and now since we can rearrange these letters accordingly this would actually uh, we would actually replace e with c here and we can see it's kind of becoming a palindrome but it's not really a palindrome yet so to do that what you can do is uh, actually we can bring e here we can bring e here and b here that we can do using that operation we know that now if we bring those strings together this will form a palindrome right so we can do that so our assumption was correct kind of using this example we could see that our assumption was correct now we just have to implement this approach so for that i 
I'm using a map of character to int and that I'm initializing, initializing as map mp variable and now I'm gonna go through the even indexes of the string so the string length is n and I'm gonna jump two steps and I'm gonna update the value of character at ith position that would be this I hope there are lower there are lowercase latin letters okay lowercase english alphabet letters I guess that's the same so I'm gonna increase the count of that letter in the map and I'm gonna take two maps in, in fact mp2 right and I'm gonna do another for loop I could actually just do if I could actually do it in one for loop but never mind mp of 2 of s of i minus a plus plus and this will also go up to this but this will start from 1 right yeah so that is the code and now if the both maps match mp1 is equals equals mp2 then we can see how that we can rearrange it to be a palindrome else we can see how that we cannot because the count of each letter would be same so let's test it on the input okay so we have to include the map library or we can just include every library ever using this every library in C++ almost every library not exactly so if this prints out yes no yes my work is done okay weird uh, this should not come did I miss a semicolon somewhere okay I actually let's do this How did this close? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so this does print out yes, no, yes. I'm not gonna submit it, but that was it. Thank you for watching.